Well, good morning. Just about loaded in, I think. I think. I think. Uh. Whoa. We're off to uh, a <clears throat> not very many framey start. Uh. Oh boy. I'll look at these patch notes real quick. M. Uh, um, oh, I did not just do a user folder. We'll see how this goes. <clears throat> Good. Illegal landing, less likely to trigger while still in ship. Ship updates to SOP terminals. Hangar notes. Can't even get into hangar. Oh, gun rack at the rear of the Vanguard Warden should function. That's cool. Well, a lot of interesting new features. Uh, it seems they removed the ability to leave your easy hab. <laughs> Thank you, Fisher. Have a good rest. Apparently you're not missing much, so <clears throat> hope you had a good good shift at work last night. Gosh. Excellent start here. Pop. <laughs> Let's try this again. I am a salamander. <laughs> what a name that is. Yeah, everyone's frame rate took a hit. Oh seven, Polysapien, how are you this morning? 
I love your little emote. Gosh. This is silly. I'm going to try a different server. Well, Polysapien, the, uh, I'm stuck in my easy hab. I don't know if you have played the, the M patch for PTU yet. Um, and perhaps encountered the same thing, but it's, uh, I've only tried one server so far. I've updating right now. I've only been on a couple of minutes, so we'll, we'll see if I can even out of there. It seems like the frame rate took a hit, unfortunately, um, but that also seems to be dependent on the number of people on the server, so hopefully that's a, a minor issue. But. I'll give EU a shot. <laughs> I have, I have at least 10 minutes of patience. We haven't gotten to that limit yet, <clears throat> so if if this continues not working, I may get a little salty. <laughs> Let's see. You are the one um, commandeering pirate ships in in three point one, right? I think I it was you who I saw doing that. I know that sounds terribly off topic, but oh, sorry. Um, I think it was you who I saw commandeering pirate ships in the PT or not in PTU in three point one. Is that correct? Were you doing that last week? I think. Okay, awesome. Um, I was inspired by you, and I went. I stole a caterpillar yesterday. But it was substantially easier than uh, than the 3.1 method. They had left the uh, the side cargo doors open, or unlocked anyway. <laughs> well, in the PTU, unless that was patched with M, you should have a much easier time. Um, you can shoot the pilot in the cockpit now. The uh, the side doors were unlocked. So I wish you luck. I ended up getting murdered by someone on at an outpost who probably thought I was actually a pirate. I don't know. I don't know why they thought a pirate was at an outpost. <laughs> I am. There is. Uh oh. I am out of the easy hab. I guess something was just wrong with the first server. But this isn't a European server. So I may have a little bit of lag. <laughs> How had you not followed yet? I'm going to assume you've been busy streaming. You seem to be fairly established. I cannot fault you for, for being busy with your own affairs. Got to keep the Twitch community happy. I, I promise I have notifications, right? I do. Oh, I timed out. Are they? <laughs> there they are. Thank you for the follow. I think I think you're usually streaming when I wrap up for the morning, so I'll try and drop by.
to do this morning. I'll do some mining. Oh, you've only been streaming for a month. Holy cow. You must have been putting in a whole lot more work than I have. Your stream looks fantastic. Glad you're enjoying it. So how have you been enjoying the 3.2 stuff? Nice choice. It's quite a quite a lot of changes from 3.1. Screen and camera will be back in a couple of weeks. Hi, welcome to the show. <laughs> You're enjoying what's coming in 3.2, but it is testing your patience. I feel you there. Armor. Armor. Go to Levski, I like the armor there better. Maybe it's safe now, too. <laughs> well, I hope, I hope your move goes well. I'm sure that's a I'm sure it's horrendously difficult trying to coordinate a stream schedule and a move at the same time. Gosh, this mustard suit is so funny looking. Have you tried much mining in the PTU? Am I missing my... no. I do have my engines today. Where am I? Quantum travel. Button. Mining has been tricky because of server lag.
can't get quantum travel to spool. I can't get my drive to spool with B. It's annoying. at all. There we go. Weird. Hardcore. I don't know if I've been up here for mining yet. Um, I really don't have a an agenda. I thought about trying to grab another caterpillar. Unfortunately, people seem to be a little hostile if you're in a, a pirate ship. <laughs> no agendas. It's like when you have a sleepover with no parents. Bay info. I think the frames are the frames are here. This game has a lot of nice picture moments. It's a very pretty game. I do miss the pink suit, the pink armor was the prettiest of all. I do not have my specs provided. Um, I7, I don't remember what, uh, what clock speed. I've got a 1080. Um, I think 32 gigs of RAM. Games on an SSD. I ought to, I ought to provide those, but I also have to figure out what exactly they are. I five has well. see I know there are kind of unofficial minimum requirements for the game but <clears throat> it seems like I mean when when I have seen your stream it seems like it you don't have any trouble <clears throat> so as long as i5 gets you good performance then There. Second system for the stream, gotcha. I <coughs> am fortunate to be able to stream and play the game on the same computer, which which might be a, a CPU heavy um, thing. But before before I went to the one PC setup, I was running uh, the game on my good PC through an external USB capture card into a MacBook Air. And that is not a recommended configuration. <coughs> it did okay just barely. I was 
those rocks are so far away. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm always really. I don't know if you've seen Segelian's stream, but he streams off of a laptop, I think. Or at least he plays on a laptop. Take a look with the external capture card. Yeah, 1080p60 uses a lot of data. Oh, they can't lower the quality till you're a partner? <laughs> ah, that's not a boring statement. You, it even gave me some new information. Um, the last time I heard, and this was maybe a year ago or more, um, <coughs> transcoding was like kind of a mysterious thing. It would sometimes appear on your stream, like if you had enough viewers, but if it's been, oh my god, there's so many waypoints. Go away! It's killing the frame rate. If transcoding is tied to partnership now, that's, you know, I feel like I've seen affiliates with it, but I'm not not a hundred percent sure about that. But seriously, the technical stuff is great. I love the technical details. I don't know very many technical details, especially about the Twitch backend. They are more than welcome to share that that stuff. Out of curiosity, what external capture card did you try out? Mine. <laughs> I'm honestly I don't understand the chat delay. Um, <clears throat> man, excuse me. Oh man, this rock is bigger. They were all what, twenty-seven thirty-three or something. 3733, this one's 4198. Um, mine is a Magewell something. It's USB 3. Um, I know the, the um, resolution and frame rate are limited if your computer does not have a USB 3 input. I can certainly understand a, a PCI card being much faster. Um, since I was using a MacBook Air, I wanted to take some of the some of the processing load off of it. It's a good thing because it <coughs> it could barely handle the the video encoding. Five percent gold is the best I've seen here. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> it's going 
that we're getting cool that we're getting bigger rocks now. Rei YK nine thirty one. I have never heard of that brand before. Three diamonds. Maybe I've just found a bad spot. Guy. Yeah, just return it to Amazon if it's. Did it use um, USB three? How did it? How did it connect to your? Okay, the Elgato. Yeah, Elgato is certainly. They've made a name for themselves. I couldn't remember the name earlier. Elgato. I guess one benefit of an external card is like if, if you're traveling and you're maybe you bring a couple laptops or something, it would be easier to stream, continue your or keep up your stream schedule. USB three. Ah system had that port. Honestly, I haven't tried the Magewell in USB 2. According to the documentation, it just limits the, uh, the resolution and frame rate combinations that, that you can use, but I have not tried that. Nothing would sink. That what the heck? Crazy. Nothing would sink. That is a horrible technical problem to have. <clears throat> Laranite. I guess I'm getting into Laranite territory. Go back to. back to gold and diamond. Mobile streaming setup would be would need a. I guess if <coughs> excuse me if if you had two really solid laptops. Oh well. Hmm. You would have to to pass the video through one, so yeah. <coughs> I guess an external card would be the way to go. Dang it, Larry Knight again. Sink. Ah. Streaming from your phone, that is impressive. I'm not familiar with the phone, but six gigabytes of RAM sounds pretty insane. Uh, 
How large is it? Is it, it almost sounds like it would be a tablet. A tablet that can make phone calls. So frame was five point seven ish, that's not huge. I had no idea. Yeah, go ahead and link the phone. And thank you for asking. I, I had link protection turned on um, and the the nicest punishment was purge and it completely erased all of the previous chat messages from that viewer. So it's like holy cow turn that off. Just just want to tell them hey, ask before you post links. So thank you, Polysapien, for asking. <clears throat> wow, that is a nice looking phone. I have no idea what Tango and Daydream are. Motion, oh, there it is. Motion tracking, area learning, depth perception. Is the 8 gig larger or something? Are there really that many optics in the cameras? Daydream is VR. <clears throat> I will admit, I buy. <laughs> cell phones almost entirely based on the camera. So you may have just given me my next phone. Or told me what my next phone is going to be. I don't expect you to, to buy me a phone. Same phone, just different RAM. Cool. like those blobs are where I just was. Man, I love this terrain. I cannot wait for Hurston. We have trees and biomes and blue sky and maybe some critters nest in our fish tanks. And we're going to continue the line. I'm not familiar with the Asus UI. I know, I mean, I recognize their name from computer components. So that, <coughs> that is a benefit. Um, oh, there, <laughs> there are all the minerals. I had a Windows phone. And I like that UI a lot. Unfortunately, Windows Phone was kind of a, a one-hit wonder, I guess. Be picky with Asus phones. Good to know. Ensures you get what you want. 
There are a lot of variants. <clears throat> yeah, I've <clears throat> I've learned that it's it's usually worth, um, <clears throat> especially with technology, it's usually worth spending the extra money for something that you know is going to be much more reliable. <clears throat> Battery and speakers are really good. Excellent. <clears throat> Those are probably not features I would base a purchase on. I, <clears throat> I'm i sure if if you are streaming from your phone, you'd either want it plugged in or to have a really damn good battery. So that makes a lot of sense. I'm not finding very many good rocks here. I'm about to go for the next thing I see near 2%. So how do you stream from your phone? Is there an OBS app that will do that? ship. Frame rate is fantastic when I'm not staring at 50 indicators. Be right back. You take your time, sir. Try something here. Oh, good, it's not bouncy today. Shut everything off. I'm going to try switching servers. Oh, crap. <laughs> Bug is still fixed, sort of. Okay, close that door. Pop it dead. out. I've never tried this before. So let's see if it works. <laughs> cool. 
going to assume it's just thinking with the server and that it's not frozen. Meantime, oh dear. I wonder. Okay, there we go. Okay, if this is working, ooh, look at the background move. Source. Let's see how this. Oh, dear. I'll do that later. I uh, will do that later. Hopefully this will put me right back in my prospector. Yella. In a server with less ping. It did! Oh my gosh. That is so cool. That is so cool. Welcome back, Polysapien. I switched back to... Ow! I switched back to a US... Well... I switched my server to best. Because I'm worried that be a fold-out chair in the living area. That would be nice. I'm, I'm worried about my ping um, trying to do mining. <laughs> They're all going to bed. If you're looking for a, a s more sparsely populated server, that sounds like an excellent way to do it. Um, but just because of of how finicky some of the, the mining rocks are, I want the, um, I, I don't know if we're added in the verse. I don't think so. Ah, I got my, are you the polysapien in game? Just like your Twitch name? I am... Cool, it worked. I guess I shouldn't be as surprised when when things work the way they're intended. I think that <laughs> don't worry about it. I noticed that the the PU and the PTU have different contact lists. So I haven't taken the time to add all the same contacts in the PTU. Fahrenheit 1.8. There's an app that'll match your contacts? Oh my gosh. Is it a phone app or just something on the computer? Or 
Chrome app. <laughs> PTU. I like it. I'm going to write that down because I will forget. I love that people create this stuff. Star Citizen has a fantastic community. There's so many icons. Um, I can, if you have the, the link for the, um, whatever it's called for Chrome, go for it. Perhaps that's a long link, isn't it? Cool, thank you. Rock, there we go. Oh, don't worry about it. That actually did take me to the right place. Gosh, I thought one of the one of the patch notes in L was that <laughs> these waypoints wouldn't kill your frame rate so much. But they're still doing it. Yet. Well, I will check if you are streaming when I get done. I probably won't be on terribly long this morning. Hey, have a good stream. Thank you for stopping by. It's nice chatting with you. And I'll check in with you later. <laughs> well, thank you for the, the shout out there. I'm just trying to have fun and make the stream fun for everybody. I, I do quite appreciate your endorsement. Oh, come on, Rock. See you soon. Take care, Polysapien. Gosh. Am I not going to be able to mine this? Alright, here we go. <laughs>
Good morning, Shy Canadian. How's it going this morning? Morning, Sigalian. I'm doing well. How are you? Very well, sir. Another day. Another day in the PTU, eh? Another day. Another update, in fact. Yeah, I read about that last night. Pretty exciting. How has it been for you so far? Um, my first attempt was not good. I was stuck in my easy hab, so I had to change servers. Mm. Um, but since then, it's been, it's been good. I think I did join your server. So, I think we're on the same server. I'm trying to do some mining on Yella. We have larger rocks now. They're like they're all... physically larger? Yeah, they're Are not they... all 2733. This one is 4198. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure if you're part of a party, but... Yeah. I was not, but now I'm part of your party. Cool. Oh. The issue with these larger rocks is that they are... They require a lot more energy. <laughs> Interesting. I currently have or, my nose pressed up against one. Or maybe they require a second prospector. Interesting. Does that work? I don't know. Let's try. <laughs> Sounds good. At about five meters away, and 100%, I can find this one. Up my ship. Ow. <laughs> Still alive. That's something. Uh -oh. I guess the trick is that you have a rock that size, there are not many extractable, f well actually there weren't any extractable fragments. Wow, that's unacceptable. When it first fractured. Oh, I see. I got it. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, and uh, the fragments are like massive. Uh, Massive 618. This one, so. Hey, Ant Keeper, good morning to you. How's it going today? And Kierno's here. Good morning, Kierno. Hey, 
Thank you very much. I like your uniform as well. <laughs> Jeez, you're right at the North Pole of Yella. I figured I'd head up here today and, and see what is to be found. Uh, not much, as it turns out. Really, oops. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. There's a lot of laranite, a lot of some gold and some diamond. That's good. That's like the best stuff that we can get, eh? I couldn't remember what how good laranite is, so I'm settled for 1.97 percent older huh yikes Imkeeper asked me if I'm gonna be an origin pilot or a Genesis Starliner pilot it's a big questions you know what Imkeeper I'd have to say uh, I'll have to wait until the uh, Starliner comes out before I know if I'm gonna fly that vehicle. Love to though, for sure. I would say that uh, I like flying more than anything. It's my favorite thing to do. And I don't think I realized that until mining came out. <laughs> I mean, mining's great, no, but uh, I think at heart I'm a pilot. Then it would be okay. <laughs> Who knows what miners will wear a thousand years in the future. The server lag was okay. It's starting to get a little, a little mean. That's because I logged in. <laughs> oh, don't, don't take all the blame. Oh, I have to. No, no, it's the only thing that makes sense. Oh, that's interesting. It's like there's like this gradation between the shaders on the planet, and it looks kind of sloppy. It's like, I don't know if you see it, it's just like, it's like a thousand meters from where you're currently at. There's these frozen lakes, and it's just like the, there's an opacity change between this like snow and this like gray soil it's really weird it just looks like a bad photoshop blending <laughs> i remember seeing something like that um maybe it was on daymar but at least from from a really high altitude there were like neat canyon features and they kind of just end up rubbing Maybe maybe it's just because it's not loaded all the way then. Thank you. Sir, could be. Wow, the uh, performance is uh, not the greatest. It's not, and I think I see the shadow of your ship there. Yeah, I'm just uh, right beside you here. Ah, hello. more indicators you have on screen the worse the frame rate gets mm -hmm. yeah currently at about six frames per second over here oh man so i'm not too pleased about this recent patch i really thought that there was a fix for that in 
either L or the one before it, but I guess that either did not work quite as well as intended or... Cool. So I can actually see the energy level of your rock right now. Oh, really? And I'm guessing I can contribute to it, should I choose, but I'm obviously not. And I'm actually getting warnings for the overcharge as well. Oh, neat. neat. <laughs> okay, we totally have to do this. Um, yeah, really, oops, I have a standing, I have a stand-up desk. Uh, is standing a lot better for your back? I don't, I don't really think it's necessarily better for your back. It's just that, uh... I think overall it just improves your circulation and it forces you to be a little bit more active. So it's like if you're confined to a chair, you really don't go anywhere. But like uh, if you're standing, then you do tend to walk around and it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a psychological thing. Uh, but uh, they say that um, sitting for eight hours a day is worse than smoking. So since I smoke that I, um, I choose to not sit. I, I would hate to double up on my unhealthiness. <laughs> and I also, like, I work on the computer, so um, so I tend to, to stand up. I do programming as my day job, so I, I like to stand up when I do that. Holy moly, though, the performance is it's pretty bad. It was very bad when I first logged on. It was about... 10 frames per second at all are. And I was stuck in my easy hat for a while. Right. Did you say the mass was of the rocks like if you, before this patch? 2733. Trades get the ladies, but miners smash. Interesting. <laughs> Don't understand. It's minor. Tra Trades get the ladies, but miners smash. The. the like, how, how- that doesn't rhyme. I don't understand. Um, can- can my- can I move my arms as easy as if you sit down? I think so. And, yeah, I've, uh, I totally pwned some- some guys at Korea on my stand-up desk. I don't nice. think there's a limitation. I- I also, you know, I play Microsoft Flight Simulator, I play Kerbal. And uh, I haven't had a sit-down desk in maybe three years. So, I've never noticed a, a limitation, really. You know what, Impkeeper? I probably have to hear a miner say it. So if Get a Ghost comes back online, I'm going to ask him to say it, because maybe it's like an accent or something that makes that, that rhyme. Sigillion, I am full. Do you want me to help you mine a, a large rock? Uh, totally up to you. If you want to go in, uh, and, you know, I don't know, do you think I could do it on my own? Certainly, yeah, you certainly can. Um, the, I think the one I was working on started at a little over 4,000 for the mass. Oh. Well, let's find one of those. Yeah, you know what? Maybe just for shits and giggles, uh, we could uh, just try teamworking one. Yeah, certainly. Like to break the the initial boulder, it should help a lot. Uh, uh, really? Oops, I don't. Um, I mean, maybe I would like to sit down, but I don't really have that choice. So uh, I don't know. I just I just do what I do. That's all. My God, eleven point eleven percent. That's that's not good enough. No, I, I don't think I've seen anything over two. Well, that's 0.1%, not even 1%. Not oh. <laughs> that. There's a lot here, though. There is. Uh, I, I would say that you found a gold mine, but uh, there's no gold, I'm guessing, here. Yeah, there there was some elsewhere, uh, but then I chose not to stay there. 
Seven frames per second, though, yikes. Do you have hundreds of indicators? Yes. And none of them are within my vicinity, I would see. Oh, 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 just take one pixel load, I see. Okay. Or maybe not. Here's, well, that's, that's 0.37, so that's not. Oh, that's just taking a, a. Yeah, Inkeeper, I don't know what, what's up with the frames. Overall, everything seems to be pretty slow. Oh, here's one at 1 1.5, massive 4,198. So if you want to come up here and, and sure. give this a try. <clears throat> Um, I may put my laser at 50% or so, and then okay. um, let, let you do whatever additional power is required. Yeah, really, oops, I usually like stand up for about 14 hours a day, and after that I have to sit. <laughs> so I also have like a stress mat, and I have shoes that I wear when I do this. Cool, so we're going to teamwork this. The first time in the history of Star Citizen, <laughs> teamworking mining. You saw it here first, folks. Want me? Oh, sorry, let me know if you want me to increase my power above 50. Uh, don't cross the streams. <laughs> Think this is working is this working it seems the to only, be the only way you could do this before was when you're at 100 percent and you're really close to it right yes and in and fact i had to be working. at 100 percent and really close to it um when i was mining one of these by myself right gosh this is cool totally Let's get a bigger one, and let's get a third person. You know, there, that picture I put in Discord of the rock that was like, it had two minerals above 20%, and then something else at like 3%. And I could not mine it at all. Right. So if, if we can find something like that, we can, now we know we can tag team it just have to divvy up the spoils. Mm -hmm. And I was reading last night that they added, or they allowed the ability to bind the throttle with a axis, a controller axis. Oh, nice. So they're listening to my stream as I, I've been requesting <laughs> that like every day. So <laughs> I will have to assign that. Actually, this is really cool because if you're a part of a group and if you, you know, if you're not the strongest miner, uh, then you can essentially just act as a support, you know, for everybody else. If that's the case. Shoot. I'm trying to get an awesome screenshot here, so I'm not paying attention to the uh, energy levels. Okay. <laughs> right. this, is, this is up to you right now. <laughs> uh, Tylo, I wear uh, Crocs. Oh, I shoot. Have, like, I have like four pairs of Crocs that are like my entire life. I'm a croc wearer. I think the crocs are the shoes of the future. Totally think that. Sorry, taking a screenshot. Hey, getting ghost, good morning. Taking a screenshot got put me out of mining mode. So, Imp, Imp Keeper, now that getting ghost is here, tell, uh, tell that miner story to get in ghost because he, he he's a mining guy we will start selling there's actually already crocs in the game if you go to if you go to the clothing store you will see that there are different colored pairs of crocs that are available for sale i don't make this stuff up <laughs> go there you'll see them yes good morning good morning getting ghost good morning Hello, late. So, uh, Innkeeper has a bit of a parable for you. From he, what he said was from miners. <laughs> so you have to see in chat. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> that worked, right? It did. Look cool. at that. That was awesome. So, so Get and Ghost, we just teamworked. We just tag teamed a, a rock. Massive rock. And there's a there's a fragment right here. They they went a ways. Mining. Look at that mining throttle. Heck yeah. So I'm just gonna And it's totally gonna work. Oh I'm stoked. You guys have no idea. Oh, there's another person out here with us. Oh interesting. What how they got here? Well, I'm going to head back to Olasar. Um, you should be able to handle these these fragments yep. without any trouble. Yeah, thank you very much for giving that a try. It was fun. Yeah, that was that was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to try this. Oh, cool! Oh my God, this is awesome. Is it much easier than Mouse Wheel? It's so much easier. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Thank the maker for this. Because <laughs> I can literally just cut it. Like, I could just cut it and go right to zero. Without turning it off. Exactly, or without moving. So it's like, I now have just my right hand is on the mouse and my left hand is on this throttle. It's like I'm driving a, a, a backhoe or something. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Shoot. Of course, I'd have to learn how to mine all over again. Hopefully, it'll be easier to learn this way then. using the mouse wheel. Interesting that um, I'm now taking damage regardless if I'm successful or not. I think if the um, if the rock has any energy built up, it will certainly have some kind of explosion when it fractures. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hulk smash. <laughs> uh, yeah, really. Oops. I use a T1600, T16000, whatever it is. 1600. Uh, it's a great joystick. It's a great joystick. I mean, for 50 bucks, you can't beat it. There, I don't think there's any other joystick within that uh, price range that compares. Do you use the throttle as well? Well, I do now, yeah. <laughs> because um, So my other joystick is uh, a Satek Aviator, and... Um, 
you know, it's kind of a random joystick, but the reason why I got it, and I got it like 10 years ago, is because you can, you have two throttle quadrants on it, so you can assign it to a left and right engine. Mm -hmm. So when I used to fly Flight Simulator, I used to be able to activate or turn on or off my engines really quickly, but just the left and right one. Um, so I've been using that in Star Citizen, but now that I have mining here, I can bind my other throttle, my T1600 throttle to mining. And I don't think it's the greatest for this, to be honest, because it's it's so small. Whereas my uh, Satec throttle is, is a lot bigger. Gotcha. I don't know. I have to play with this a bit. I got to say, it's so much easier to mine now with the uh, the Axis controller. Because, like, when I hit a lag spike, I can just cut it, and then I don't die. It's all about managing the lag. That is Star Citizen. Okay, 1.6% Laranite gets me 1856. That's a pretty good. AUEC. That's pretty good. I mean, that that's not, you know, 100,000 credits that we would have gotten in a Caterpillar, but <laughs> it's fine. Only, uh... Only a similar amount of uh, risk, Paul. That probably is a little sim similarity in the risks there, actually. All right, Imkeeper, well, thanks for stopping by. Tylo's starting to gamble. Hmm. Can we activate the Reclaimer's arm yet? Not that I'm aware of. I certainly didn't see that in the patch notes. Nor did I. I wasn't sure if it, maybe it would be a... one of the other... stations in the ship. I think that's coming in 3.3. Uh, okay. Maybe. You should put up like this little sign on my stream that says like thank you CIG for adding the access control on mining. <laughs> Just so they see that. Two cutlasses and two gladiuses. Can I get an invite? Yes, sir. Just a second. Okay. Shoot, wrong button.
I love how um, as soon as I log in, the first thing I do pretty much is join party. It shows <laughs> quite a difference in in this recent patch. The warden took a torpedo last night. What? He didn't even scratch it. You're kidding. That's not right. I mean, I'm happy for you, but holy crap. Then I turned around and killed him. Good. I hope you killed him twice just for fun. I think I killed him once in spirit. <laughs> I was mining yesterday. You know, not paying attention to radar or nothing. This guy pulls up. Up on me. Oh, he's in like a gladiator type vehicle. I don't know what it was. And I'm sitting here mining. I see shadow, right? Mm -hmm. So I start already full throttle the miner. You know, the rock's overheating. Right before the rock hits 90 or 99 percent, I rear thruster as fast as mm. I can. It blows me back uh, about a thousand feet. Right? Yeah. I'm all red and shit. He's nowhere to be seen, so I know right away he's gonna be mad. <laughs> so I'm taking off. Next thing I know, here goes two missiles going flying past me. Mm. <laughs> so I. I start jumping, and he starts jumping, right? So we jump to Delamar, back to Daymar, and then I hit Cryastro, and then a Comrade. He's chasing me this whole time through Quantum Link and everything. Wow. And I finally, he finally gives up. And he says, man, that blew me 12 kilometers in the sky. No way. <laughs> yeah. How close was he to the rock? Right on top of it. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I feel like I just wasn't seeing him, right? Did he think that it was like an attack on him or something? Or did he know that that was a rock from the rock? No, he knew it was the rock. That's hilarious. There wasn't nothing I could do. Hmm. You know, I was just like, I just act like I don't see him. And he just kept get, getting closer and closer. I mean, I could vividly see him in my window, right? Yeah. But yeah, so, he was directly over top of it. So us miners, we do have a very lethal arsenal. <laughs> it might take a little bit of practice to really get good. I wish. I wish I could have recorded that. Ghost stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, Tylo. What a guy. It's your dad joke of the day. Like, I was already full. There was no way I was going to outrun him. I'm going to see if the the landing bays at Levski are escapable now. Oh, you're brave. Well, I really like some of the the armor that's sold here. Mm, that's true. They have a whole bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. At what cost, though? <laughs> An hour of your time. Yeah, basically. Wow, three frames per second. 
gosh. Yeah, I know, Tylo. 90% capacity. It almost seems like a waste to start mining now. You at the spot? Uh, yeah, I'm not at Florida. I am... What do we call this place? It's the North Pole of Yellow, pretty much. This is just where um, um, Shy Canadian was prospecting, I guess you could say. Prospecting and his prospector. It doesn't seem to be a, a terribly rich area. It, it's not a not rich area, though. I mean, Laranite's pretty valuable, isn't it? I guess yeah. it is. But that is all that's here. What's in what's at Florida? Is it Laranite Laranite. as well? Yeah, okay. These are all big rocks though. Uh, yeah, getting ghosts, we now have rocks larger than twenty seven thirty three. can tag team them. Frame rate at Levsky is not spectacular. Yeah. What's your performance like? About 20 frames per second. <clears throat> it drops when I start moving around. But if I have the entire system loaded memory right now, I guess 20 frames per second is not all that bad. I wish we could automatically equip armor that we purchase. Yeah, right? <clears throat> You're not using the trade terminal to purchase armor, are you? I'm not. Okay. I, I, keep... I wasn't sure if, if Sorry, they added that yet. 
mean, there there seem to be buttons in the Moby Glass as well to do that, but they don't click. You can't you can't touch the buttons. Like I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a, a feature for 3.2. Is that uh, the trade UIs? That's what I thought as well. Perhaps not. Okay, all of these rocks are way too big to mine. But I wonder if I should just go back to all start at 90% capacity. So in, in Moby Glass right now, when you're equipping armor, maybe this is just happening to me, but you can rotate your character by left clicking and moving the mouse side to side. That's cool. I didn't know that. But right now, it's not rotating me. I'm just doing front flips. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Got one of their axes messed up. Can mine them with one laser. Might be here a while. Yeah, he just might be here a while. Um, actually, um, Shy Canadian was saying that for specific elements, he was totally unable to do it. Um, Kelost, good morning. Hello, how's it going today? Uh, this is since the recent patch. Performance seems to have dipped a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Welcome to the PTU, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. It's probably all these like resources that are that are all over the place. I'm sure that's part of it. Jeez. It's like the it's it's true. The more that there are on the screen, the more that my frames dip cuz I'm at 2 frames per second right now. Oh Literally a slideshow. I think I'm just gonna go back. Oh, nice! What was what was in it? Very nice. Cool. I think I'm just gonna go back. Oh yeah, sure enough. As soon as I go back up to orbit, my frames improve. So that's that. Thank goodness. No doubt. Did you hear about AMD's new 32 core? Processor. That's a lot of cores. No. Thread Ripper 2. What is the uh, i9? Is is the i9 like that too? 32 cores? Well, they just released one with 28. Well, they ain't released it. They just announced that Intel is going to do one with 28 cores. At, what is it? Computex or Comtex? Do we have software right now that can take advantage of all those cores?
hoping this game will. Mm-hmm. They said it was going to be expensive, though. Oh, yeah. Well, every time a new hardware comes out, it's always expensive. Try and grab another caterpillar. Steal a cat caterpillar? Yeah. Mm. Or a constellation, I guess, if that makes itself available. You know, one thing I love about the Caterpillar is that it has the ATC window, so you don't need to open up your mobile glass to do the ATC. Yeah, the Reliant has the same thing. It's, it's it? really nice. Mm -hmm. so of course, you can change the, the screens around, but... You're losing something else if you change it to ATC. Well, I uh, I could never. I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm not getting the right screen. But I don't really know how to turn the ATC window on, for like the prospector. You just go to one of your multifunction displays and go into the menu. It should let you get to comms. Okay, I'm gonna try that as soon as I land. I'm curious. So I'm going to menu. Oh god, it's so hard to press. Oh Yeah, yeah they don't have, there, there is no comms, in, in, at least on that screen. This one maybe? Menu. Yeah, that one doesn't have it either. Maybe this one? <laughs> Some, <laughs> Just keep going. Sometimes if you uh, go into menu and go back to whatever your screen you were on and then go back into menu again, Get different options. Weird. Doesn't make any hey, sense. Kool -Aid. Scroll down, he says. Oh my god. That's that's okay, so Kool-Aid <laughs> solved it. I have to scroll down. <laughs> I didn't even know you could scroll on the screen. I didn't know either. Yeah. How did you know that? How did you figure that out? Oh man. So the the quantum drive system, if you're at a planet and you're trying to jump to something on the other side of the planet, it now tells you to exit atmosphere before you can jump. It doesn't just say obstructed anymore. Okay, that's nice. Cool. And uh, good morning, by the way, 07 Kool-Aid. I love that you entered the channel at the perfect time and I was in a state of distress.
We, uh, Kool-Aid, we just tried the tag team mining. So, uh, tested out a new feature with mining. It was a lot of fun. It was pretty epic. It went well. I think it was a success because uh, we now have bigger rocks. So instead of spending, you know, five minutes to get a rock to, to fracture, uh, you can now bring my buddy in here to, to have that time. Although then again, Shy Canadian and I had to communicate back and forth to kind of manage our throttle. So it was kind of a, a new experience. But it worked. And it worked. Now we know we can... ...mine very difficult... ...rocks. ...with enough prospectors. Mm-hmm. We need more prospectors. 50, 50 people prospectors. <laughs> or 50, 50 prospectors in a row. Yeah, I wonder if this whole rock sinking only exists for those who are in a group. I wonder if it's a part of the group system. Oh, interesting. I don't know. Good day, fellow miner. Yeah, you know, I think that's going to be an issue in the future, people stealing other people's rocks. That seems so ridiculous, but I, I remember that in, in UO, if you guys have ever done that, but there was Valorite and Verite, and uh, people would just hide and wait for you to drop your Verite on the ground and scoop it up. <laughs> Not like I've ever done that before, <laughs> but... Remember what we used to do in ULO was that you could only carry so much in your backpack. So when you're mining, the rocks were so heavy you could only take a couple of rocks with you at a time because the backpack would get full. So what we would do is we would put it on the ground and we would stack it on the ground. And anybody could steal your rocks at that point if they were on the ground. But the thing is, is that you know the mining areas were so big that you would never really be at risk of someone of running into somebody else. But so, if they followed you, then they could. That's right. And they did have the hiding ability, so if you had a, a good hiding ability, you could just disappear. <laughs> and people wouldn't see you. And you could just be sitting there and waiting. Because as soon as you moved, you were unhidden. Gotcha. You could, you could just be invisible. And then some people used to have, like, uh, donkeys and horses that would... You could put saddlebags on them and store your rocks in there, and then people would come along and kill your animals. Oh. Cool. <laughs> I thought I bought the other undersea. <laughs> I'm going to show you the Crocs. Hold on a second. What the heck? Is 
So the the undersuit that I purchased isn't showing up. My inventory. That's weird. Third time's a charm, I suppose. What type of dialogue? Oh, like verbal dialogue for the storm points. Got it. You know what, Tylo? I was thinking that because um, as soon as, like, when I went out and then came back in, he was like, hey, nice to see you again. It's as if he was addressing me like he'd seen me before. And I'm like, is that actually valid? Is he actually keeping track of me? Does he know <laughs> that I've been here before? That seems like something Chris Roberts would do, but still. So then again, maybe I'm just incredibly paranoid by these these NPCs. Did um, anybody happen to watch uh, Nubifier's video on IFCS? I think it came uh, two days ago. It came out two days ago. Oh. Uh, but it was uh, it was in a Spectrum thread yesterday. It was really popular. Good video though on really the fine details behind it, IFCS and why D, uh, um, I what is it that the combat maneuvering system? ECM, ESP. Why well, ESP is in such disarray right now? So. You see it? Check it out. It's, great. it's a very, very, very in-depth system. Yeah, Tyler, check it out. Hey, Nick the Grizzly, thank you so much for the host. How's it going this morning? Were you uh, streaming this morning? I think my only complaint with IFCS is that when I when I have decoupled enabled, it doesn't coast. You know, it's like as soon as I turn decoupled mode on, I start losing velocity, and that drives me bananas. Doubled your frame rate. Jeez, it like I would say it halved my frame rate. Are you doing mining by any chance? You must not be. Very strange. So the uh, the, sp the spline quantum traveling is taking me through the south pole to get to the north pole. Hmm. Trixie.
getting an atmospheric the re-entry effects on Yella. Even though there was enough atmosphere for that. I don't think I've ever seen that before on Yella. Oh, I see. Time dog fighting right now. Oh yeah, just like lag or just really hard. Not sure. It, the frame rate could have something to do with it, but <laughs> yeah. Um, Nick the Grizzly, are is the game currently taking advantage of all your cores? Because you seem to have quite a sweet computer there. So remember it before where it. Uh, no, it wasn't taking advantage of all those cores. Raffle help? This raffle isn't going to help you today, my friend, next pilot. And good morning and welcome to the stream. I'm not sure if you've been here before. Scabs 40, hopefully I get some white-framed shades in the future. <laughs> 